I used to run a pickup mansion in Las Vegas where I lived in-house with a bunch of guys that were studying seduction and I'd bring them out and some of them were virgins, some of them were just very, very poor at game. I turned them into beasts over time, but I, these were my wingmen, okay? So we'd be out at clubs in Vegas and these guys would just be adding like tons of negative value to the interaction, okay? So a lot of times girls would be like, are you with that guy? Or like, is that your friend? Or like, what the fuck is this about? And I would have to just be like, you know, I'm not gonna be like, oh no, I don't know that guy. I'd be like, yeah, he's cool. Like sometimes he's just shy or like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool. Like sometimes he can be a little awkward around strangers. And, and they'd be like, oh, okay. And so it kind of trained me to even make my game stronger because I had to like say it's time to bring girls home. And sometimes girls would say, like I remember a one-liner, one girl was like, my wingman was driving. Okay, one of the students, he was driving. So he wasn't drinking. And he said like, yeah, come on, let's go. I'm like, let's go, my car's in the parking lot. And the girl looked at me and she's like, I trust you 100%. I trust your friend like negative 50%. And I was like, okay, great. And because he was like giving the girls like the dead eye look, like almost like a serial killer where he was just kind of like. Hey everybody, welcome to John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna to talk about wingmen, all right? So wingman is someone in your group that talks to the strangers with you, okay? He can be a friend, he can be a random person, it doesn't matter, okay? He's conducting the interaction with you, all right? A lot of guys are like, should I go out solo or should I go out with friends, okay? I personally prefer to go out in a group, okay, to have a wingman, even if the wingman is bad. Why is that? I like to enjoy the night out when I'm out, okay? So I like to have someone there to talk to. I don't wanna just be out there doing my approaches without having someone to talk to. Also, that person that's there with you can be of instrumental success in the interaction, okay? Which I will cover in this video. Before we continue, please press the subscribe button if you are not already a subscriber. Make sure you turn on the notification bell that alert you to my five new videos every week, okay? Thank you. So before we get into all the benefits of Wingman and all the rules and all these different considerations, I want to alert you guys again, for those that are not aware, I'm coming on a USA tour. We'll put it on the screen here. And you can have me as your personal wingman, okay? To break down your interactions for you, to give you advice in real time, saying here's your weak spots, okay? Most of which you are probably not even aware of and blast through those very, very, very quickly. Okay, I've seen and done pretty much everything in game at this point and I've seen pretty much everything in my students at this point, okay? So I can see in a few interactions very quickly what you are doing wrong and correct it in real time, okay? As well as calibrate you to the optimal method. So if you are interested in any of these cities, we have Las Vegas, two weekends, and then we go to LA, and then Miami, and then New York, and then London, okay? So those programs are almost to capacity. Make sure you email me at johnanthonylifestyle.gmail.com if you are interested in those programs. Okay, so wingman rules, okay? Your wingman's job, his number one job, is to just vibe and have fun and add value to the interaction, okay? So your wingman is there, he's talking to the friends. You pick out your girl and your wingman picks out the one he likes and you are talking to your girl, he's talking to the girl he likes. The friends, if they get involved, okay, you address that as they come in. Either one of you can, you know, include the friends in the interaction, okay? But the primary goal is to just kind of keep things nice and fun and light. Okay, and whoever has more compliance, okay, whoever's girl is more interested in them, that's the person who kind of has like the rank, okay, they have the trump card. So let's say I was out with my friend Alex, okay, I'm talking to my girl, my girl's really into me, Alex's girl isn't really into him, okay, this is a typical example. And his job is just to keep the interaction going. Maybe Alex's girl isn't attractive, maybe his girl has a boyfriend, maybe she's just being mean or bitchy or whatever, and she's not interested in talking, okay? But his job is just to like keep it fun, not be confrontational, not, you know, say the girl has a boyfriend, be like, okay, sorry, have a, have a nice night. And then the female friend comes and cop blocks my girl, okay? His job is, oh, that's fine. I have a girlfriend too. Anyways, what do you think of this place? Ha ha ha, okay? If the girl's being mean, he still should become light and fun and not, ruin the interaction, not become confrontational, not be like, hey, what the fuck is your problem? That kind of shit, because that's gonna blow out things with my girl, okay? 
Now, if you take a girl home, all right, so say I'm taking my girl home and the friend wants to come or multiple friends wants to come, the job of the wingman is to occupy those friends, okay? Usually with verbal banter. So he's gonna be just like blah, 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 entertaining the whole group, okay? And possibly talking up me. I'm not in a very forceful, try hard, explicit way. He's just gonna be like, yeah, he's cool. I've known him a long time. He wants to instill things of trust and value in these girls, all right? So don't worry, he's cool. I've known him a long time. Like your friend has nothing to worry about, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, especially if we're gonna be leaving the group behind. Oh, that's fine, like they're, they're cool. They're just gonna go and hang out for a little bit and they're gonna come right back, okay? So it's your wingman's job to help sell you, so to speak, okay, without overdoing it. So, oh yeah, they're, they're cool, don't worry, she'll be fine, I've known him a long time, is the kind of way it usually goes, okay? Now another rule is, what if the girl you're talking to seems to be into the wingman, okay? Say she's actively interested in this guy. Now I wanna note, this is very important because this can sour a lot of friendships, you do not want your wingman gaming your girl actively, okay? And you don't wanna be gaming your wingman's girl actively. Okay, what does that mean? That means if you introduce your wingman to the girl you're talking to, he shouldn't be hitting on her explicitly, okay? He shouldn't be trying to portray all this value that's gonna make her want him. He can be a cool guy that's your friend, but he shouldn't be like making flirtatious remarks to the girl or sexual remarks, okay? That's inappropriate. And what, what that can cause, basically, it's first of all off showing that he doesn't respect you, okay? So the girl's gonna like, you're gonna drop value in the girl's eyes. She's gonna be like, why is your friend openly hitting on me in front of you, okay? And secondly, it's gonna cause like mixed signals, right? And cause her to question, okay, do I like this guy, do I like this guy? So you need as a rule, and usually I give my wings like one chance. I'll explicitly say like, if they're hitting on one of my girls, okay? I'll say, listen, when I'm talking to a girl, you don't fucking make moves on her, okay? And I had this one friend in Philadelphia, it sucked because he had been with over 100 chicks. He was a good wingman. And he did this, I gave him actually two chances, but he did this three separate times where he would openly hit on chicks that I'd already talked to, even girls that I'd gotten their phone number from. Or I'd bring out like a rotation girl, a friends of benefits girl, and he'd be openly hitting on her. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, that doesn't fly with me. Don't fucking do that again. And lots of guys like, they're like, oh, I'm out with John Anthony, ha ha ha. I'm gonna try to show him up and hit on his girl, okay? And that usually gets one chance before it's cut off, all right? So this particular guy in Philadelphia, he hit on girls that I had already talked to or that I was with or that I had gotten a phone number from. I gave him two very stern warnings. The third time I said, that's it. We're not fucking friends anymore. And he was like, come on, man. Like, don't, don't be like that. Like, I won't do it again. And he did it to a whole bunch of other people too that I knew through mutual friends. And this is kind of shit that he did. So don't go after your friend's girl, okay? The point is, you are there to provide social banter. Your friend is there to provide social banter. Now, you will switch targets, so to speak, if, let's say, my friend isn't directly hitting on the girl, but the girl's like, okay, this is like my type. I'm like pretty into your friend. Then I'll be like, yo, brother, come here. And I'll introduce him. Or if he had already met her already, I'll say, hey, talk to her. She said you're her type. And I've had a bunch of situations before where my wingman, say we're talking to a group of two, and my wingman is talking to the girl, and I'm talking to my girl, and then we could kind of communicate either on one side or the other that they want to switch, okay? Then you say to your dude like, yo, let's switch. My chick is into you, your chick is into me, okay? A lot of times this can happen in the very beginning of the interaction. Like let's say I start talking to a girl and she's like staring at my friend or vice versa. My friend talking to a girl and she's staring at me. We can quickly switch early on because not a lot has been invested time-wise or in the interaction in terms of you know, emotional investment or time spent with the girl. It's just very quick, okay? This is gonna be a switch, and then you switch and continue, okay? Another thing you can do with a good wingman is, they call it a two set in game terms. It's a group of two people. All right, so if there's two attractive girls and you and your wing are like, yeah, yeah, those girls are hot, you can both go in, you pick which ones you want. You both go in, they both like you, you take them home, okay? There's no cock blocks externally in the group, okay? There's no third wheel or fourth girl or fifth girl that's going to be there to block things. So if you have a good wingman, lots of times you can approach what they call a two set or a group of two girls and just keep looking for groups of two. Now, what do you do when you get back to the house? Okay, so say you and your wingman bring home a group of girls and you're back at the house, okay? 
Whoever has more compliance, as I said before, whoever has more kind of where it's more on with the girl, they are going to try to isolate. They're going to try to bring that girl to the bedroom, usually by saying, hey, I want to have a serious talk with you. Ha ha ha. Let me give you a tour of the house. Come here, I want to show you something. Those are the typical things you would say. You bring the girl into the room and the wingman's job now is to entertain the group out there. Okay, if he lets the conversation fall flat, the group is going to start to become restless and be like, okay, maybe we should go check on our friend or we should go get our friend. So you basically just want to be the entertainer. If you are the wingman dealing with the group outside, you want to be the entertainer and just kind of keep the verbals flowing, keep the fun up, keep the vibe up. Okay. Now a good wingman is basically someone who can just keep the conversation going and add value to the set. He doesn't need to know about game. Okay. And I would take like a decent looking guy with the ability to have a conversation any day over a pickup guy or a seduction guy that knows all these tactics and stuff. Okay. Most of the time a seduction guy is trying to do too much fancy stuff, trying to do gimmicky things, okay, kind of being a dancing monkey, and it's gonna weird the girls out more often than not. And the girls are gonna be like, what the fuck? I used to run a pickup mansion in Las Vegas where I lived in-house with a bunch of guys that were studying seduction, and I'd bring them out, and some of them were virgins, some of them were just very, very poor at game. I turned them into beasts over time, but I, these were my wingmen, okay? So we'd be out at clubs in Vegas, and these guys would just be adding like tons of negative value to the interaction. Okay. So a lot of times girls would be like, are you with that guy? Or like, is that your friend? Or like, what the fuck is this about? And I would have to just be like, you know, I'm not going to be like, Oh no, I don't know that guy. I'd be like, yeah, he's cool. Like sometimes he's just shy or like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool. Like sometimes he can be a little awkward around strangers and, and they'd be like, Oh, okay. And so it kind of trained me to even make my game stronger because I had to like, say it's time to bring girls home. And sometimes girls would say, like, I remember a one-liner, one girl was like, my wingman was driving. Okay, one of the students, he was driving. He wasn't drinking. And he said like, yeah, come on, let's go. I'm like, let's go, my car's in the parking lot. And the girl looked at me and she's like, I trust you 100%. I trust your friend like negative 50%. And I was like, okay, great. And cause he was like giving the girls like the dead eye look, like almost like a serial killer where he was just kind of like, telegraphing like oh my god don't go with this guy so I would have to like overcome even more objections about safety and comfort and stuff and be like don't worry he's cool he's just being weird <laughs> like shit like that so if you have like a decent looking friend that's able to have a conversation you can handle all the logistics and all the game stuff okay if you know them properly if you've learned them from my channel or from my trainings and you can kind of lead everything and he's just there as someone to make things flow better okay Another thing you can do is have what's called a wingman on call. All right, so when I was living in Philadelphia, I had a guy that I could basically hit up at any time. So if I went out solo and I was bringing a group of girls home, I could hit him up. Okay, I was giving him game training in exchange for this service. And I was like, yo, bro, if I hit you up, you need to come like ASAP to my place and block the friends. Okay, like while I isolate the girl that I want to hook up with. And he's like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I was doing this regularly. Sometimes when I couldn't find someone to go out with, I would go out pull a group home and I would hit him up like when it was like when we we're about to leave I'm like yo be in my house in 10 minutes I'd introduce him he would block all the friends and then I would take my girl to the room all right now if I had just come home solo without someone to block it would be a lot more difficult to be like hey I'm gonna go off with your friend because then they're gonna want to come as well okay so I hope that was helpful about wingmen okay and you can have multiple guys in your group that all serve as wingmen and the rule is still the same, right? Whoever has the most compliance, whoever has it most on with a particular chick, he kind of leads and gets priority. So if you take a group home, he gets to isolate, everyone else is blocking, okay? One last thing I will add in here, a lot of guys are like, well, I don't have any guy friends or I don't have a wingman or I don't know what to do to get a wingman to go out, okay? What you can do is you go out to the club or bar without a wingman, you can go out solo and then you should walk up to a guy that is alpha, okay? A guy that is good looking or in good shape or is clearly like a leader guy, okay? So one story in particular comes to mind. When I was living in Texas, I had moved to a new city. I went out solo. I saw this dude, he was like all jacked with tattoos. I went up and I was like, yo, are you like, are you good with getting chicks? And he's like, yeah, I do pretty well. I'm like, yeah, me too. I actually coach this stuff. And you don't need to have that qualifier, but you can just say like, oh yeah, like, I like going out and meeting chicks. Like, I'm new to the area. Do you wanna hit on some chicks together? 
Okay, and then you meet some girls together, grab their phone number. It's almost like you're fucking getting a chick's phone number, right? But this guy is going to serve as a wingman for you. In this particular case in Texas, that strong dude with the tattoos, he was a manager at Hooters, and then he hooked me up with a whole bunch of fucking Hooters waitresses. You can be like, yeah, I go out on the weekends, or I go out a few nights a week, let me hit you up, and we can meet chicks together. And usually they're gonna be cool with that. That's how I've met a lot of cool wingmen. And that's gonna be a guy that's already alpha, that's already decent looking, that already can hold a conversation, and he's gonna add a lot of value, okay? He might even be higher value than you, okay? And that's gonna add a whole bunch to your interactions, okay? So I wanna remind everyone about the live programs, okay? We're gonna be doing two weekends in Vegas, then LA, then Miami, then New York City, then London, okay? And there's very limited spots for that. I already have guys waitlisted for some of the programs. Make sure you email me, johnanthonylifestyle.gmail.com, and we can discuss details and pricing, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button. Please like the video if you enjoyed the content, and please share it. Lots of really good stuff coming in 2019. I've got more collaborations along the way and lots of really good footage to share with you, okay, and all these various tour locations. Thank you guys so much. See you in the next video.